Hi, I'm Kate Hartfield. And I'm David Reedley. And we are writers for the Ottawa Citizen. And here's what uh, we've been watching this week in the local campaign. We actually got some polls at the riding level in Ottawa this week, which was uh, something a bit new. Uh, there were a few surprises in there. What surprised you the most? I think actually the most surprising thing for me were the uh, the polls in Kanata Carleton and Nepean, mm -hmm. which are two ridings that uh, conservatives are conservative challengers essentially are trying to hold after longtime MPs have retired, and they're actually doing quite a good job of it. Uh, Andy Wang in Nepean and Walter Pamuk in Kanata Carleton have opened up not huge but noticeable leads on their mm -hmm. Liberal rivals, mm -hmm. and those are seats that the Liberals would really, really, really like to win back. Seats that they held back when Jean Chrétien was Prime Minister, mm -hmm. and at the moment unless something changes quite a bit it doesn't look like they're going to be able to do it what about you what did you notice yeah it was uh, it was interesting to see that there was that gap in those ridings because we had had some indication earlier that the Tories were getting worried in mm -hmm. some of these ridings and uh, this was a poll done by Ann Veronix uh, for lead now and uh, the idea is to help the anyone but conservative vote and we should note too that at the riding level because of the sample size difference the margin of error is larger than we would normally see on, mm -hmm. a, on a big national poll so um, some of these race, race races might be closer even than they appeared or the opposite. But they do still give us a sense of who's got an edge and uh, who's doing how well and that makes them intelligence we didn't have before. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's going on in town, has gone on in town, is a couple of national leaders have been here. Yeah, uh, Thomas Mulcair has been here and Trudeau and Elizabeth May uh, uh, had a stop through and actually met the Ottawa Citizens editorial board this week. So definitely it seems like the capital is on their radar. Mm -hmm. What do you think that tells us? Um, I think it tells us that there are some close races here. I think, uh, you know, the Liberals certainly think that they can pick up some seats here. Mm -hmm. um, the Conservatives, like I say, uh, have done very well here in previous elections, and so they're looking to hold on to some ground. Uh, it's unlikely the NDP is going to pick anything up, um, but uh, they certainly want to hold on to Ottawa Centre. They have some mm -hmm. strong challengers there. And uh, you never know what could happen uh, with the NDP in some, uh, they, could, they could be a wild card. Yeah, and certainly they have seats on the Quebec side that are probably safe, but they definitely don't want to take them for granted, want to shore them up maybe. Uh, so what are we looking for in the, the week to come? Um, on the local campaign, I think what we'll be looking for is we'll, we'll be watching those close races that mm -hmm. we've uh, seen identified in the polls and also just from talking to people on the ground. Uh, looking to see whether anybody opens up a gap, whether anybody uh, comes out with an interesting policy idea or does something maybe not that smart. Yeah, I think we're reaching the, the point in the campaign where we can see the end in sight and so can the candidates and probably uh, the ones who are not edging ahead are going to be inclined to take some chances and the ones who are ahead are going to try to protect their leads. Mm -hmm. So the question is, is anybody going to say anything that really changes the nature of one of these races? So always an interesting week on the campaign trail.